To the Emerald Bandit. I'm Sean and this is the Emerald Bandit and today I want to talk about throttle position sensors because in the six months I've owned this bike I've been chasing this car for pretty much the whole time. The final piece of that puzzle was my throttle position sensor, the TPS. of the TPS and the adjustment and set procedure so hopefully this is of use to someone the purpose of the throttle position sensor is to tell the bike how much throttle you're actually using at any given time and it uses that information to tell the ECU what to do with the ignition timing there's different ignition timing maps stored in the ECU for different gears so first, second and third have their own map and then fourth and fifth are on a shared map. Um, the throttle position sensor tells the ECU exactly how much throttle you're giving in at any moment so that it can either advance or retard the ignition depending on what you're doing at the time. Heel fellow biker. So for instance if you're cruising along with no load on the engine it can advance the timing and if you're hammering on the throttle opening a hard big load on the engine it retards the timing slightly to avoid detonation well i'm concentrating on traffic and trying to explain this So as I was saying, when you open the throttle, the TPS tells the ECU and the ECU retards the throttle to prevent detonation which means basically you can get away with kind of more aggressive compression ratio and carburation than you would do without it. Um, when you're cruising then, it can advance it and that just kind of provides better miles per gallon and slightly more efficiency because the risk isn't there without the heavy load of detonation. So, to the best of my knowledge, there's five degrees either way variation. It can retard the ignition by five degrees or advance it by five degrees. And as I'm sure you can imagine, that potential 10 degrees of ignition timing is quite important so the internet wisdom that says if you just unplug it it doesn't do anything but the bike defaults to a default map but it doesn't have any control over its ignition time and then it's just static so yes absolutely your bike still works still runs but the point of the TPS is more to do with efficiency, tractability and drivability than actual outright path. So let me demonstrate. Instant, instant, oh, holy... <laughs> the 
next part of this video is basically how I went about testing and setting up the TPS on this bike. So it's kind of not a how to do it, it's a what I've done. How I do it. So, please take what I will out of that and enjoy. But man, this thing goes like steam. So this is where the throttle position sensor is located on this bike, which is a 98 Mark 1 Bandit 1200. I'm sure it's pretty similar on a lot of other bikes. Works on the same principle, just like an old radio volume or one on your guitar amplifier possibly. Of just a variable resistor that can be turned by the throttle shaft. I don't know whether you can see that there, I think my fingers are in the way. The two outermost pins have a set resistance across them. The right and the middle pin, as you're looking at it, when it would be situated on the bike, are the ones that will be taking the reading off to set the proper positioning of this in relation to the throttle spindle. So, first off, I'll show you how I know this is a bad unit, and then I'll show you how I know the one on my bike is a good unit, and then I'll show you how to set it up. So the first thing to do to determine if the unit is good or bad, and this will work either on or off the bike. I've just got this one off to make demonstrate and easy. So this is my cheap Euro Pine Shop multimeter. And these are the leads of it. And as you can see, hopefully in there, they're attached to the two outermost pins. Now, Suzuki specifies that the resistance reading when the meter is set to kilo ohms is between 3.5 to 6.5 kilo ohms. So this is reading 30.4, which is just way, 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 way too high. So instantly I know this is a bad unit. So this is the good TPS unit on my bike that I've just replaced. And first off, Step one is to pop the cap on it. Step two then is to get our multimeter. Leave it there for a minute. And then attach to the two outermost pins. I hope you can see that. And I hope if I'm attached correctly. Now, as you can see, my multimeter is reading 5.8 to 5.9, which is exactly in the middle of the 3.5 to 6.5 range, or very close anyway. So that shows that that's a good unit. Now, if I move the throttle, this figure won't change. This is a bit tricky one-handed, but if I move the throttle, the number shouldn't change. And they stay static at 5.9. So, to adjust this unit then requires a little bit of mathematics. So let's go do that quickly. First thing we do is note that number that we read on the multimeter, which is 5.9K. Then, according to the Suzuki manual, we need to find 76% of that 5.9k, which gives us a figure of 4.484. This is the number that we're going to set the two outside pins to. So hopefully you can see in there now, I have the leads from the multimeter connected to the central pin. And the forwardmost pin when looking towards the front of the bike. So, what I need to do next then is to open the throttle and see what that reading is on the multimeter. 
to tell me whether it's actually positioned right and telling the bike whether it's getting full throttle. The multimeter wants to see 76% of our initial 5.9k figure, which should be 4.484. Uh, my multimeter doesn't have that many decimal places, so we have 4.6, which is just above 4.5. So hopefully you can see as I open the throttle, the multimeter is reading 4.6 now. Close it, it's reading 1. Open it, it's reading 4.6, which is 4.6, 4.7. So we'll adjust that very slightly. To make the adjustment, the first to do is slacken off these two screws very, very slightly. You'll see then the next thing I've done is I've used a cable tie to cable tie my throttle wide open to the brake lever just to lock it there so I can take the measurement of full throttle and as you can see my multimeter is showing 4.7, 4.8 rounded up becomes 4.5 so that's my target figure. And what I want to do is turn the TPS very slightly to change that measurement. As you can see, it's dropping 4.6, 4.5. That's precisely what I want. So I'm going to tighten the screws back in. And this is the part to be careful because... As you'll see, when the screws are being tightened, there's a tendency to tweak your adjustment slightly. But that's dead perfectly for me. Uh, I'll be very happy with that. Very happy with that. 4.5 kilo ohms. So that's the measurement in these outer two pins with the throttle wide open. And once you've got that far with it, all you need to do then is plug the cap back in, put the cover back over it, and you're ready to go. Well, that's the process of checking and adjusting your GPS. So I hope you get some benefit out of that. And I hope that shed some light on the issue. And I hope that helps someone set their GPS. So if you find that useful, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It'll be a great help to me, not just with the YouTube algorithm and YouTube, but just an encouragement. It's great to see that I'm getting a few likes and people are watching. So thank you very, very much for your time, guys. And I hope it isn't been wasted. Emerald Banda, over and out.